Alright, it's June 26th. The chufa is in the ground. The grass, as you can see, is growing well. We've had plenty of rain. Uh, we've got our summer plots in, but going to talk to you today about a big, large-scale project that everybody does when you own land and you have to deal with it. Uh, ways to improve your hunting land. All right, we've looked around, we've thought about it a long time, we've addressed different deficiencies that we have in our production facility. And one of the deficiencies we've had is lack of bedding area. All right, one of the easiest ways, and it helps you out as far as being a landowner, paying taxes and whatnot, one of the easiest ways is to clear cut. All right, so I'm gonna take you over today. We're gonna look at a clear cut in progress uh, talk about a few things about it like planning where to put your deck but the main area we're going to address with this cutover is bedding area for deer and it's going to make a difference all right these are pines that are approximately 26 years old uh, we've thinned these down to like a 60 basal area and basically what that does is it opens up the understory it lets sunlight get to the ground uh, sunlight getting to the ground and those clump grasses that early successional growth that you get in that really encourages our quail population now you can hear machinery running in the background on the other side of that we got a track that we're going to clear cut all right where we clear cut we're doing it totally and specifically for deer bedding all right the reason we're doing it specifically for deer bedding is this for the first five to seven years that's going to be a food factory all right we'll turn you around here so we look that's going to be a food factory all right that open ground you're going to clear out all the overstory and everything that grows underneath where those that old seed bank that you got there that's going to be straight deer food we're going to replant it in pines because we're looking towards the future to keep making a little production all right but at the same time we're going to feed a lot of deer for a while and up to about year 13 14 that's going to be a great place for deer to bed or at least that's what we're hoping all right not keeping you waiting any longer we're fixing to go take a look all right we're standing here on the edge of where we're cutting timber if you look up this food plot I'll try to get you a little close up we've got like some sawtooth oaks that we have flagged to make sure that they're not damaged uh, anytime you're cutting, plan, plan, plan ahead of time. Plan where you want your deck because the deck's going to be where they lay the big trees, get them all together and haul them off. The deck, later you can use it for a food plot if you want to. If not, it's going to be good thick cover. And depending on what you're cutting for, if you're cutting just for straight money or if you're cutting like we're cutting to try to really improve our bedding area that's the place where we're deficient we didn't have enough bedding we got a lot of food don't have a lot of bedding you want to pick somewhere that's remote that you don't go into that much and i can't stress that enough once you decide that this is going to be bedding stay out of it all right this understory that's going to be created from dropping these trees i'm getting around on the cutter now the understory that's going to be created from dropping these trees it will feed deer for 13, 14, 15 years because you're going to have all these beneficial plants. If you look, now we can start to see where the trees are down. I don't want to get too close and getting these guys away. But this is day one. By the time they get through, all these trees will be gone. Now, we flagged out any trees that were of wildlife benefit. We left some oaks around this edge. We're going to come back and replant all this in pines. Every bit of this will be bare ground. All right, whatever seeds are in this seed bank, it will come back up in native plants and native forage. Let's see if we can get a tree on tape being cut. But all this will be opened out. There's our cutter. That's what actually cuts the trees and lays them down. Get out of his way. Alright, let's see if we can get him 
actually getting the tree. All right, here we go. Grabs the tree, swings it, lays it down. Really incredible what those machines can do. All right, that's pretty darn cool. This is gonna be our loading deck. This is where they'll haul in and out when they get the trees. After that's done, we're probably gonna push it and turn it into a food plot. You notice we got some trees flagged around here, some soft mass, got a whole lot of persimmons there. All of those, before they cut, we walked through every bit of that and flagged off any good, viable wildlife trees. The rest of this, we'll replant in pines when the time comes, which hopefully will be this fall, excuse me, winter, after deer season. Uh, deer will change their habits for a little bit, but all in all, this is a good benefit.